Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome, well-constructed, small bunk bed travel trailer. This is a 2022 Forest River Flagstaff E-Pro Model 20BHS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this E-Pro and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited. We have another E-Pro on the show. I love these small travel trailers. They're such great quality and I'm super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, it's not Will, it's Jen. Hey guys. Welcome to Matt's and Jen's RV yeah, Reviews Tobles. Switching it up today. Yep, yeah, there's Will right there. Oh, yeah. Just doing some work. I just wanted to, you know, get in on an e-pro video. Yeah. I think I, I want to say I did an e-pro video with you one time before. Maybe I'm just thinking about it because I edited it, but I'm excited to see another one. Wonderful. I'm excited for you to be here. Thanks for nothing, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's begin. Model is e-pro 20 BHS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 21 feet 6 inches. Uh, and the dry weight is 3,621 pounds. And the hitch weight, we're going to get that off of Forest River's website. And Jen is going to make it magically appear right here for everybody to see. I do want to let everybody know, uh, on our GoPro settings, we normally shoot in, it's called Linear Plus. This video, we're shooting in wide. Let me know if you can tell a difference. And let me know if you like it better this way or better the way that you seen it on last video. Yeah. We'd, we'd love to hear your feedback. Up front here, we have an awesome... Lippard component power tongue jack. I love power tongue jacks, especially in a category of travel trailer like this. A lot of times they'll put that manual tongue jack mm -hmm. just to save a few hundred bucks. I love this. You put it on, extend, retract, very nice. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go right behind there. Now up front here, Jen, this is a molded fiberglass front cap. And the Flagstaff E-Pro is just is sister products to the Rockwood Geo Pro. Oh, yes. They're, they're both they the same. They look very similar. Thing. Yep, yep. Exactly. The difference is the e Pro's doing like the green stripes. Mm -hmm. The Geo Pro Pro's doing the orange stripes. I love the front windshield right there. And I just love the way it looks. Yeah. It's a clean look and it looks real nice. Coming on down the side here. If you do want a little bit of solar, you can get that there. Storage nice. underneath here. Pass through storage. And that is an Elite Series griddle that you can have that does hook up on the outside. We'll show you there. Also, you do have manual stabilizing jacks. Small travel trailer, but a very nice power awning with LED lights. And it does extend all the way out pretty much the whole length of the travel trailer. Right here, we do have these nice more ride steps. Okay, and then look at this handle. You do have the keyless entry to oh, get in. Oh, I love that. Very nice. Uh, right here, we do have a nice big grab handle. And here's something that I really do like. Um, Forest River partnered with Care Camps. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something where they're donating for Care Camps. And Care Camps is an awesome charity that helps kids with cancer uh, go camping with their families um, and just kind of get their minds off of, you know, what's going on in their life. So big props to Forest River for yes. uh, slapping that sticker on. I don't know if they donate a dollar or a hundred dollars or a million dollars. I don't know, but um, it, it's good that they do that. Also, what else is good that they do is they do use the Asdale sidewall nice. composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. And uh, they use it on the exterior wall and interior wall. So the reason why it's good on the interior walls is because you won't get that formaldehyde smell. In the Liberties tires, Jen, they're the Westlakes. I love those. ST235-75 R15. Very nice. Underneath there, Jen, you can see there's a spare tire, spare tire carrier. And then right there, that's where you store your sewer hose. Okay. Right here's your LP Quick Connect. Um, right there. And then again, this is the bracket for your griddle cooker. I you know love that feature. Yes. And there was one speaker right there, and it is frameless windows. Nice. Coming around the back. Right here's a black tank flush. Okay. Um, 
again with the stabilizing jacks. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera and they're using a different ladder. Okay, so normally when I climb up a ladder, I, I make sure all the screws are in. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've had a bad experience one time. <laughs> um, but this, it looks like they're using a different ladder. If you guys seen on Matt's RV reviews, uh, there, there's been some major ladder issues in the RV industry. And so uh, we've partnered with U-Step, but um, this actually feels like it's a lot more sturdier ladder nice. than what they were using in the past. So Jen, let's go up there and take a look. All right, be careful, Matt. Here we go now. Oh, I felt I heard some shaking in there. <laughs> up here on the roof, you can see this nice one-piece TPO roof. Radius roof, look at that. That is so nice. Single AC unit right there. Your Max Air fan cover right there. And as you can see, it already has a solar panel on the roof. All right. Here we go now. Man, I'm shaking that sucker. I know. Great, if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna come to Duncan, South Carolina, take his fat ass up on the roof and show you? Nobody. Nobody, by the way, big shout out to Sonny's. Yes. They're part of our RVR network of dealerships. We didn't even say where we were. I know, Duncan, Duncan, South Carolina. Check out this storage. Oh, I love these. Yep. You can access access this on the side so yep. it could be a bunk or it could be bike storage and you can access it from the inside nice. absolutely very nice thick mattress there little ladder there for the uh, upper bunk very nice right there jen this is where your sewer outlet connection is it's where you're dumping everything mm -hmm. nice how it's not under the slide out and then finishing up 30 amp service here right here is where you fill up your potable water potable potable Outdoor shower here, very nice. Cable hookup, satellites, city water connection. Other side of your pass-through storage. Yep, and if you are hooking up at night, there is a docking light right here, so you can get some light coverage. Very nice. Well, Jen, the outside of the E-Pro looks great, but the inside does look even better. Let's go, take a look. Thank you, sir. Show that real quick for okay. us. Very nice. You guys can pause if you want to look at that even more. Yes. All right, coming up here, very nice and bright in here. We have a bed in the front. Come on inside, Will. We're going to need you for the shower test. <laughs> we have our dinette here, kitchen over on this side. Here's your bunks. Looks like we got a little pantry space. And then here's your bathroom in the back. Yeah, Jen. Yeah. I definitely think if um, somebody's looking to buy one of these, they're gonna wanna pause the video and like take a look at this. There's a lot of good information about this that we just don't go over in the yeah, video. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so what we do go over is the bed size. Very nice bed up here. This is uh, what I call an east to west bed. Very nice. Well is gonna be our demo, okay. our model. <laughs> Will is six foot three. A stagger. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Look at the head height yeah. on here. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. You guys could see that radius roof. You can lay down now. Okay. You guys could see that radius roof when I climbed up on the ladder. Just super radius and nice. And Will it's is six foot short. three. Um. Yeah. But it's definitely doable. Aww. I think it works. That's <laughs> <what it is. laughs> Um, but yeah, you could put a pillow there, something right there to kind yeah. of make it work. Yeah. Uh, we do have storage above there. Probably six foot and under, you'd be really good there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Right there, you got your power and USB and storage right here and TV. And it's one of those things where most people who are buying one of these are smaller. on the smaller side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can you pull up that shade right there? Very nice. I love, love, yeah. love, love, love yeah. that feature. And then we'll put your legs up. Oh, or move. Sorry. It's all good. We do have storage underneath the bed right there as well. And then over here in the dinette area, very nice dinette. It is down right now. There is storage underneath the dinette. And this does not open. It sure has a hinge on it. No, there's uh, another hinge oh, right there. Oh, okay. Um, it's kind of weird. Yeah. And the poles, where the heck could the poles be? And where's it in the outside storage? 
Oh, did you see them there? I want to say I might have. Well, can they stop, can they were them? stopped yeah. in there. Okay. While Will's getting that, we're going to demonstrate what the table looks like when it's up. Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. I like doing the review with three people. <laughs> MSRP on this travel trailer here is $33,731.20. It's not bad. Not bad. There's one. Yeah, just one. Just one? Yeah, look at the wall. Oh, okay. Ooh. Sale price, we don't currently have a sale price because this is 2022. But as you guys know, we are now a part of RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, Carolina, Texas, California, anywhere in the country, we have a RVR partner close to you that can sell you either the Geo Pro or the Flagstaff. So if you're interested in buying one of these, just go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab, me and Will, we personally work on it to make sure that you guys get a phenomenal price at the dealership closest to you. Or if you're not ready to buy, click tab number two and that sends me an email. Um, but you're not going to get solicited to try to buy something. And Jen, it doesn't matter if somebody's ready to buy this unit today, tomorrow, next month, or next year. What's the one thing we'll always get them? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Jen, let's continue the video. All right. Let's get this oh. dinette set up. So it has one leg and then it hooks to the wall. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I don't think it's latched in. I don't think so either. Can you yeah, line it up, Matt? I do not like it. that. Oh, there we go. Good? Yep. It's a little awkward. <sighs> yes, so here's the dinette set up. Very nice, very comfortable. Will, please sit in the dinette. Okay. That's good, man. Yeah, it is, for sure. Yeah, we're pretty spacious. I mean, yeah, we're, we're big boys. And, um, you know, for us, literally, like, I got plenty of gut space. You know, we can yeah. make it work. I like all the windows around. Jen, how do you like these balances? I really like them, actually. I like how neutral they are. Yep. Right. Yep. And I think neutral works for this unit. Yeah, because it's, sure. it's small, and it's, like, it's allowing a lot of, of light bouncing off. Yep. All right, Jen. Well, oh, you guys ready for the first thing in history? What? Back all the way up, please. Oh, hang on. It's the first time in history. Will, are you here? Yeah. Ready? Psh! America. America. Oh, that was a trip America. Jen, show us the kitchen. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's start up top. So we have two cabinets up here. Nice storage space. Um, I love that we have a nice window here. I'm not gonna raise it all. Well, I'll raise it up. It's good. It's clipped, Jen. Oh, okay. Sides. But yeah, you get a nice big window here. Hood range is what I like to call it. And then we have a nice um, three burner cooktop. Mm -hmm. And then oven down here. Very nice. With your accent lighting. Mm. Um, nice square sink here. I like that. And then we have a little soap um, area and a drawer. And then over here underneath the oven, that just kind of comes down and that's some storage space under there. Also, what uh, all the forest rivers are coming with now is the TST tire pressure monitoring system right there, which is kind of nice. Yeah, very nice. And then coming over here, we have a Magic Chef microwave. Ooh, Magic Chef. <laughs> and a Magic Chef oven. I mean, oven. Refrigerator. Fridge. That's and a small fridge, a, too. Right, a small um, fridge. Compressor fridge, right? Yep. There's a tire pressure monitoring system. Nice. Got to keep it cold. In the there. fridge, <laughs> where, where it belongs. And then what I love is you get this nice big pantry space, but it, you know, they have a curtain rod up there, so you can use it as closed storage or yep. pantry space, whatever you need. And then one more little cabinet down under there. Perfect. Jen, you want to demonstrate this bed? Sure, yeah. So we have the top, now does it, it doesn't fold up or anything. Nope. So you got the top bunk here, um, a window, and then down here, um, you have another like bed that, so this can be another bunk, or you can take this out and this, see this hinge here, it can yep. fold up. And so if you wanted to store like bikes or anything in here, you can yeah. do that. Um, take that ladder out and cr crawl in there. What? Crawl in there. Here, bring, oh, bring, he bring the ladder out. I mean, you want to be a part of the review crew. Oh. You got to earn them stripes. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks, Jen, is it? Well, it's hooking on the Jen's like, it's a cow without my stripes. Okay, I, I don't need your it's okay, stripes. Milk and film. <laughs> <laughs> Climb on in there. Oh. Okay, Jen's five foot six and she fits comfortably. Oh, you got the little light in there and everything. Yeah. All right, now climb on out, Jen.
Good job. Thanks. Okay, come on out. Will, it's now time for the shower test. Okay. He gets here. the easy test. All right, Will. Ready? Yeah. Into the shower test. Oh, man. It's oh. a tub. Oh, oh man. No. Now, look at this. Oh, we can do it. stand up. Oh, jeez. Jan, get, we gotta get to the front. Nope, <laughs> no, no can do. Does that not get the shower test seal approval? And the sink is in here. Okay. Oh, where? There's a sink in right here. Oh, interesting. Oh. No, I actually kind of like I that. I kind of do too, yep. for this size trailer. Oh, okay, hang on, we're tipping this. Okay, we'll get back to the front. What's the... I, I'm just getting like vertigo in there, so. Oh, are you? Like yeah. That's... We're cow tipping. Mm. <laughs> okay. okay, come on, Jay. Okay. So something else that I, I do like, is um, just that that the sink is in the shower, because again, so many times the uh the unit gets so small, that a sink just isn't that big of a deal. Yeah. The unit's so small, if I could need to wash my hands, I could do it right there. Right. You know, I actually really, you know, we'll talk about it later. Porcelain. Wow. And guess what? This is a prime poop position. Bing. I don't know if they listen to me or whatever. But because there's no sink here, this is a prime poop position. Again, I don't even think you need the sink in the shower. I don't mind it there, but you don't need a sink at all in here. And I freaking love this. How do you right. feel about that, Jen? Are you okay with no sink in the bathroom? Oh, yeah, I totally agree. You ready? I mean, I know how people ba are with kitchen up, and bathroom up. sometimes, but it's like, it's a, such a small trailer. Two, three. <laughs> if it falls within the three-step rule, you don't need a sink back there. <laughs> well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. That's the E-Pro. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this trailer and three things we don't like about it. Oh what do we do first? Let's do we'll three. We'll fix the jump box, please. You think that's what it is? Yeah. Let's do three things that we dislike. Okay. Dislike number one for me is there is little to no, there, there's no countertop space right. in here. Um, I love the sink. I love the psh, America. America. Oh, you almost oh, missed oh, it, Jen. Oh. I, I love that. I love I love the size of the oven, but there is just no countertop space for preparation yeah. in here. I wish they had done a little like fold up countertop space. It just kind of is what it is. So that's dislike number one. Jen, dislike number two? Um, I'm definitely gonna have to give it to the shower. Um, yeah, it's just such a small bathroom. I don't think that they should have done a tub in here. Mm -hmm. Um, because for taller people, it's just yep. not even doable to take a shower. So. And it's one of those things with that radius roof, which I do love. Um, that, that shower tub is just too elevated. Yeah. So that's going to be number two. Sure. Jen, close that door. And then number three, Jen. I have to say when I was in this bunk and granted, there's probably going to be like smaller kids in here. Yeah. I definitely felt like I was like buried alive in a coffin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was really tight. But again, you know, I, I totally see that this is a small travel trailer. If you need to sleep a lot of people, it is what it is. Yeah. And Jen, at the end of the day, do you know who's sleeping there? the non-paying customers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this trailer. Well, stand right here. Okay. Look at his head height. Right. Will is six foot three. And the fact that it's such a big radius roof, again, it's one of those things where it kind of sucks because the rate, the, the curvature does go into the shower right, area. Right. But the fact that Will is so tall in, in such a small trailer, his yeah. head is still very far spacious from the roof. I love that feature. Yeah. That is number one. Jen, do you have number two? I would say... I can give you number two and three. You're close to number two. Oh, yeah. Okay, number two, I, I have to give it to this pantry space. Is oh, okay. No, it? no, but you said it, so give it to it. Okay, yeah. I actually, like, totally forgot about this, but I love this, how how much storage space you get in here. Okay. Um. So, any, like I said, you, this is kind of multi-purpose space, but I love that you could have a nice size pantry. Perfect. Can you open the door? Because yes. I'm going to combo that. Okay. Uh, it, I was going to combo it with the fact that it was a prime pooping position and there was no sink in here. Yeah. But still, I mean, the pantry is a good combo. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's number... I love that as well. So. Yes. That's number two. And then, Jen, we're going outside for number three. Okay. Number three, Jen. Again, we're talking about the coffin, but it's okay. Coffin. Because I love the fact that this can go up and you can use this for storage, for bikes, for luggage, for cat litter boxes, whatever you need to mm -hmm. use this for. 
you again this is such a small trailer so to have this type of storage in here is absolutely awesome and fantastic yes well will well jen <laughs> that's it that's the review thank you guys that will get in this frame okay thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys are ready to buy a unit like this please go to mattsrvreviews.com click that first contact tab both me and this guy we we're, we're here to help you we're now partnered with rvr so it doesn't matter where you live in america uh, we will find the closest Geo Pro or E Pro to you, and we'll make sure that you get a phenomenal deal. That's well, right. Will, is there anything you want to say? Yeah, the E Pros have always been a really good, high quality unit. Um, I know a lot of people love them, so um, I hope you guys do as well. Make sure to leave down in the comments below to let us know three things you like, three things you dislike, and smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Jen, anything else you want to say? Yeah. Um, just thanks for watching guys. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I love this little unit. I think it's it's like a nice like if you're looking for something small but high build quality. Um, it's it's a really nice unit. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Jen, for filling in. Well, Jen, this is so fun having all three of us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching yes. and all together now. We'll, we'll see, see you next time.